Good morning. This is Jonathan with Echo Church. Thank you for joining us this morning and a happy Father's Day. First of all, uh, all the fathers, uh, we want to thank you for all your efforts uh, for your families. Fathers are so important in society and in families. Look at some of the uh, statistics uh, here. It says uh, 63% of youth suicides are from fatherless homes. 90% of all homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes. And 71% of all high school dropouts come from fatherless homes. As you can see in these numbers, uh, the presence and the figure of fathers is so critical for uh, families, for children, and for society. Now, we look to the Father in heaven as the model of the perfect Father. And we all have, regardless of our uh, earthly situations, we all have God as our Father. And so today I want to uh, look at uh, this God who is also our Father. In chapter 15 of Luke, uh, Gospel according to Luke, there's the uh, famous story of the uh, parable of the prodigal son. There are two sons. Uh, the younger one goes to the father and demands his portion of the uh, uh, estate. Now, back then, uh, the uh, father would give uh, the inheritance to their children only after uh, he's gone. And so for his son uh, to approach the father and demands uh, an inheritance is uh, very, very rude to say the least and uh, has no respect for the parents. But uh, in this case, he gives it to him anyway and the uh, son leaves the country. Eventually, he loses all the money and realizes how foolish he had been, and he decides to uh, return to the father. And verse um, 20, And he arose and came to his father. But while he was still a long way off, his father saw him and felt compassion and ran and embraced him and kissed him. And the son apologizes, but the father said to his servants, bring quickly the best robe and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and the shoes on his feet. And then he throws a party. And here uh, we see a beautiful picture of the heart of God as the father. First of all, when the son, the younger son demanded an inheritance while still the father was alive, uh, instead of chastising the son, the father gives the uh, money. But he doesn't go after the son. And that's the, the tough love that God ha has for us. In other words, God would often allow us to do what we demand. And yet, he does not always chase after us. He will allow us to kind of go through that and and. and reap the uh, consequence of our, our own action. That doesn't mean that the he is a heartless. In fact, the he is concerned for us every step of the way. The reason why we can discern that is this uh, verse tw uh, 20 that we just read. When the uh, father saw uh, his son coming home while still he was long away off, his father uh, felt compassion and ran to him instead of waiting for him to come to him and come back to home. As soon as the father saw the son at a distance, he ran to him and embraced and kissed him. The father had been always, always waiting for his son to return. And this is the uh, uh, Father's heart of God as well, that even though he allows us to have this freedom and do our own thing, 
even when that can be uh, uh, hurtful or harmful because it's our choice and, and often our uh, foolishness and lack of foresight and insight, uh, we turn our back on God and go our own way. And he will uh, let us go. Uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, his heart is not for us. His love is always with us. And this is especially true of those who do not know uh, Jesus and, and God as their father. I was in that place too, that I, I didn't care for God. I didn't know God. I wanted to run my own life. And yet, even back then, God was with me and his eyes were on me. But when we decided to turn and return to God, God was always there running toward us to embrace us. This Father's heart of God is one of kindness and one of love. It's a tough love, but the love that desires for us to turn back and instead of choosing death, choosing life. Now, this story uh, ends with a very interesting twist, and that is the older son who never left, who was always obedient, uh, wasn't happy. Uh, but this is what the father says to the older son, verse 31. And he said to him, son, you're always with me, and all that is mine is yours. God, for those who have known God for many, many years, this is the word that he has for us as our Father, and that is that he is with us, and our portion is his, and his very presence. And because we're always with him, that everything that he has is ours to enjoy and to take advantage of. That is the generosity of the heart of God. And this is the Father that we have. And whatever your earthly situation, family situation was or has been or is, and what, whatever the relationship that you may have with your earthly father, each one of us has true father in heaven. God is our father. And he desires, he wants to father us. You may be a teenage, uh, you may be uh, a career person, uh, you may be an old person, a retired person. Regardless of where you are in the stage of life, God still wants to father us because in his sight, in his eyes, we are all little children. And so look at this uh, chapter from the uh, Gospel of Luke and see the beautiful, kind, uh, tough, loving, a generous Father God. And let us run to him and allow him to father us, open our hearts, open, uh, submit our, uh, ourselves to him and open our hearts and open our arms and learn from him and have him teach us and lead us as our father. So let's pray. Lord, we uh, thank you that you are the father the true Father, that the Father that all of us uh, should have. And so thank you, and, and we want to open our hearts to you and ask you to father us from this day for, forward and, and turn us uh, and change us uh, into the man and the woman that you created us to be. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for joining us and have a wonderful Father's